The multi-pronged approach, which is an asset-based economic growth strategy, is designed to engender inclusive growth, job creation and rebirth of local communities. Little wonder, during his inaugural speech on May 29, 2015, Governor Ifanyo Koa told Deltons about his resolve to invest in agriculture in such a manner that will enhance the socio-economic growth and development of the state, especially in the rural areas, provide food in excess for local consumption and industrial raw materials for agro-allied industries and alleviating poverty. The Prosperity for All Deltons philosophy of Governor Koa propelled the administration to engage the youths in farming through a structured process that will encourage cluster farming alongside supporting and promoting outgrowers associations even as robust and focused agricultural extension services have been put in place to support the farmers. The need to diversify our economy and reduce undue dependence on the proceeds from oil has become quite urgent and this is one agenda that this administration shall give great attention to. We are committed to the building and consolidation of a state in which there shall be more employment opportunities, a flourishing agriculture and agribusiness sector. The state government has established the Agricultural Marketing Coordination Committee, which is charged with the responsibility of linking farmers in the state to markets whether local, regional, or, or international. Delta State has comparative advantage uh, in certain crops, and oil palm happens to be one of them. In 2016, we raised 220,000 oil palm seedlings and distributed them to farmers in 2017. The demand by Delta for that particular oil palm species that we introduced through NIFOR in 2016 was what spurred us into action. The desire to truly build a new delta beyond oil propelled the government to establish the three crop farms at Ejemuno, where it has raised and is still raising hundreds of thousands of improved terrena high yielding oil palm trees in a nursery to assist farmers increase their plantations. Tenera is what we are planting. That is the highest breed so far. It has 50% oil and 50% kernel with a lighter share. This is a Jeme Uno Trico Farms established by the Governor Kowa led administration. Recall that earlier part of last year, we brought you sights and sounds from this nursery. That was when these plants were in their very infant stages. That was in the 2016 2017 planting season. And for the 2017-2018 planting season, we have 350,000 seedlings on ground awaiting distribution. This is without prejudice to the ones in Okwe and Ole nurseries. Apart from the ones that have been distributed to farmers to further the agenda of this program, the farmers themselves will be looking forward to success stories just like this nursery so that they too can tell the success stories that they have had in this program. Gentlemen, come with me. Let us go and see some of the beneficiaries and see what they have been up to so that they can tell their stories. Let's go. La 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 So off we go to visit the 11 acres oil plantation of one Igwebweze Michael in the bowels of the forest of Nsopa. This is one of the most adventurous journeys I've had to undertake. Right, we had to pass through 
thick forest that I've never passed through all my life. Under the thickets, driving into this place, it's an adventurous journey indeed. We are going to the farms of one Mr. Michael Igubweze. And this place, I understand, is called um, Nsukwa Iyele Road. We are going to his farms to see what the man is all about, to see what he's been on his farm. He's one of the beneficiaries of the oil palm program. So we have to see, because that will complete our story. Eventually. Igwebweze Michael has 600 trees planted, and we met him working on his farm. Igwebweze and his farm manager, Felix Olise, lauded the oil palm program, especially because of the improved terrain species provided by government. He has done us well by giving us uh, these seedlings to improve our life. This program is very okay because I have so much benefit from it. We noticed that the farmers practice intercropping, and that is why cassava is rooted among the palms. This will continue until they start putting canopies, enabling farmers enjoy maximum benefits from their farmlands. Smart Delta Media asked what their projected financial returns might be after labor costs and expected quantity of oil when they start harvesting. The other species we have been using is not all that too good like this one. This very species with these 11 acres can give us up to a, a tanker. About 33,000 3, liters. 33,000 uh, liters of oil, is it per annum or per... No, it's per two weeks. Two weeks. In part, two weeks, two weeks, two yes. weeks yes. This is a live testimony of what this program is doing. These are real people, real stories. So, done with Igubweze, we took off to Oguno Farm and Isimiri Adofi Farm Roads to visit the farms of High Chief Simon Etie and Barrister Ifanyi Enudue. Etie has 300 improved Terena oil palm trees planted on about 4 hectares of land as well as Barrister Ifanyi. Our governor has done more, much more than expected in terms of uh, empowering uh, farmers in Delta State. Since after our trainings, we were sent some messages through SMS that we should go to three crop units and collect seedlings. Out of which we planted Another SMS was sent. We were asked to go to DAPA to collect some bags of fertilizers. A pound these days to buy it will cost about 250 naira. And you know what it means to get 300 they gave to us last time. Not minding that they gave us the protection. If you put them together, it's a whole lot of money. People who may not have been able to afford it, even if they were interested in doing the work. So the government packaging them as a loan and giving us a space period to work, let this thing grow and pay gradually at a very low profit margin. The agricultural reform program in the state has seen well over 100,000 farmers participating in the oil palm scheme. Isitua Joseph, who has 400 trees planted on 4 hectares of land, commended government for providing fertilizer inputs to enhance growth. By the special grace of God, I know uh, there's going to be a good harvest in the first place if I continue to maintain the palms. And um, from the good harvest, there will be enough oil, I think you know. And then enough oil will yield enough income. And then from income, we will have surplus for consumption. I have the intention to establish a small mill here where I can mill the nox. So why is the program gaining traction? Our curiosity landed us in the farm of one Menezia Kester. Menezia Kester, who is the proud owner of about 10 hectares of oil palm plantation, cannot wait for his trees to mature as he keeps dreaming of the financial windfall from his terrain improved species. 
He has an old plantation from where he harvested bunches of uh, ripe palm fruits so, sir, and give, give some to the Smart to Delta Media for team uh, for I'm visiting his farm. Like. <laughs> we are happy you came to our farm. We are very happy with you. Wow, this, Please. Is, this is the first time we have seen it. No, no, Ibori tried it. Most of the farm, people in gave the farm did not work well on it. So that's why we are taking the challenge to show our governor that we are happy with him. The world is doing to the agriculture. We are very happy. So we are ready to do the work. So this one now after say three years, after three years, this one will start production. The popularity of the oil palm program couldn't have been put to a better test as right there in the farms, one Mordebe Joseph ran into our team on Kesta's farm and picked up a form from the Greek officer, Godwin Ubogo, who chaperoned our team on the trip. What I've been looking for since I've come to my doorstep, and I now ask if there is any way I can join with the people that I, that I want to register with the government on how to improve my agricultural uh, program. So I'm believing by the next batch I'll be one of the beneficiaries in the oil program. So I'm really blessed today. I need to go on and publicize and make awareness for people to know all about the program that I see the government put up together to help farmers, to help people generally. Because this program automatically has brief empowerment to him. In the 2016 planting season, 220,000 improved oil palm seedlings were raised and distributed to 250 farmers to cultivate 500 hectares of oil palm plantation. Due to more demand, in 2017-2018 season, Two additional nurseries in Ole and Okwe were developed with combined total seedlings of 200,000 in addition to 350,000 in Ejima Nyoga nursery. Many jobs have been created with more farmers coming on board. Welcome to Delta State, the big heart. Come, live, invest, and explore the potentials of our Delta. Delta, Delta. If you think the administration's efforts at diversification is all about oil palm production, you are in for a big surprise. Smart Delta was told of a big farm settlement at Umobaije, about 8 kilometers from Okwanam town. Far away in this serene community, beneficiaries of the government's cassava program are helping to advance Okawa's theory of agribusiness. Trust us, we set on our way. Wow. Well, I, I, I just couldn't be sure that this vehicle can cross this pond. You know, so I had to decongest the vehicle for some of my crew members to cross on foot. Then fortunately, I, I met this young lady who just told me that the vehicle can pass through. Aha. Aha. Woo! It's actually strong enough. <laughs> it's strong. At the farm, we met the owner, one pastor Kingsley Toy, tending his cassava with some farm hands. Smart Delta media team discovered he planted the improved cassava cuttings, disease-resistant and high-yielding species provided by government. We asked him what was the attraction to cassava and his thoughts on the government's agriculture program. When there was a shortage of uh, cassava step mm. last, last, late last year, okay. the government came to our rescue. It's an improved step and when you harvest them, you have a nice tuba. Cassava is more are an advantage end of it. Go from the beginning of cassava to the end of cassava, you make use of there is no economic waste. From here, we took off to Utugbeje to visit another cassava farmer, Christy Izago. 
Because we couldn't access our farm by car, we trekked about two kilometers through dense foliage to get to her farm. We are here at last. She has a flourishing cassava farm on two acres of land. I want them to give me more cassava stem and help me to walk my farm, make it large, pass the one when I get like uh, 20 inheritance. Before this administration came on board, farmers in the state had low yield per hectare between 14 to 17 metric tons. We discovered that the type of cassava that is being produced in Delta State, the conventional one that Delta uh, we were producing before we came on board, that the yield is between uh, 14 to 17 metric tons per hectare. We thought of increasing uh, the farmer's revenue and decided to partner with uh, the National Root Crop Research uh, Institute at Umodike. And we came up with cassava varieties that can yield up to between 30 to 40 metric tons per hectare. As we speak, Delta State has distributed about 8,000 uh, bundles of uh, the high yielding cassava varieties to Delta. To further boost food production and improve the purchasing power of Deltans, the state keyed into the CBN Anchor Burrows program, which is a financial model for smallholder farmers in oil palm, rice, cassava, and fish. As I speak to you today on CBN Burrows program, well, in excess of 3,000 persons on that platform. In rice cultivation, the state is blessed because it can plant both on lowland and upland areas. For instance, Raymond Guana, a rice farmer, has 25 hectares of rice planted upland through government support. We are involved in the Delta State Government Supported Rice Program. We have encouraged a lot of corporate societies to go into rice cultivation and we, 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 we mentor them. In October 2015, not long after Governor Ifanyo Koa came to office, he inaugurated the Production Processing Support Program PPSP for farmers, where stipends were given out to farmers and tractors were commissioned under the tractorization program to aid farmers embrace mechanized farming. To the glory of God, yes. of our great farmers in Delta State, I wish to formally commission these tractors and the implements for use by our great farmers. I hope that God will stir up the land to yield and increase, and that our farmers will prosper, even as all their towns will prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The future of agriculture in Delta is not only mechanized agriculture, but intensive mechanized agriculture. With manual labor, you can only do so much, maximum one hectare, two hectares. But with tractors now, people are talking about 10 hectares, 20 hectares and more. And especially because it was given to cooperatives. So the synergy of one, two, three, four, five, six, ten people coming together is made possible using tractors. One of the major success stories of the okoa led administration in the agriculture sector is perhaps the creation of jobs. Thousands of young farmers in fish production, animal husbandry, poultry farming, tomatoes and other crops have been empowered under the Youth Agriculture Entrepreneurs Program, YAGE. In fish farming, we have the likes of Agogo, Oyene Kewede and her peers who are great ambassadors of YAGEP. So far I've gained so many experiences I probably didn't have before now. During the course of our industrial attachments to professional fish farmers, I was able to gain the knowledge of hashery, which I put into place and I've been hashing at home. So it's been nice. The program has been good so far. We are happy for the program. It has help, helped me as an individual. For me, at least I have something doing that settles some of my bills, if not all. 
right from when I started this fish farming, it has improved my financial ability a lot. Right now, I can boldly say I'm an entrepreneur. This business I'm into, by the grace of God, through this program initiated by our able governor, Governor Kowa, it has really impacted on my life. In tomato farming, each Yagapreneur was allocated 2,000 square kilometers of land to cultivate the crop after training. This here is a tomato paste done by me for my farm produce. I had to make a blend of it, no coloring, no additives. It's just the tomato, water, a pinch of salt. This is the newest thing to my collections that the governor had exposed me to and I'm very glad about it. There is no gain saying the fact that success in the agricultural and agro-business sector has provided multiplier effects on security and peace building in Delta State through job creation. Deltans, Governor Okoa is working and we are saying it. God gave us a governor who is divine intervention in addressing the state security, political and economic challenges is yielding good results for the benefits of all. This Senator Dr. Ifa Yokoa led administration from inception has awarded and built many schools too numerous to mention. Many roads across the 25 local government areas. Construction of drainages which is seriously tackling the flood challenges across the state. Many hospitals with modern facilities and healthcare services. That is not all. Thousands of youths have been trained and empowered across the three senatorial districts of the state. Peace and security with democratic equity brought by this administration has restored our investors' confidence in Delta State. Deltans, let's support this administration for more democratic dividends. One other key element of the Okoa Agribusiness module is the introduction of Production and Processing Support Program, PPSP. PPSP is an agricultural value chain support program designed to upscale the use of modern inputs and technologies, increase outputs and productivity of crops, livestock and fishery enterprises. In addition, it is designed to improve agricultural value addition and post-harvest management. The packages include inputs, technologies and materials necessary to make production and processing more efficient. The PPSP was designed specifically to move our farmers a little bit higher up. We produce the process and the support program was essentially to get the value chain in agriculture to go beyond just production. One of the key elements of PPSP is the use of public-private partnership arrangements for the management and ownership of tractors. The logic of PPSP is to support viable agricultural production and processing enterprises to increase their outputs and thereby employ additional labor and create wealth. As part of measures to ensure the farmers have access to reasonable credit facilities, Governor Ifanyo Koa, through the microcredit agency, has continued to encourage the formation of cooperatives through which soft loans are disbursed. Our agency is um, given the mandate to give out microcredit to help build SMEs, all with the aim of seeing that enterprises can stand uh, on its own and entrepreneurs do not fall back out into unemployment. With a sustained and well-funded agriculture program, Delta State can only look forward to food sufficiency and improved economy that could become a model for the rest of Nigeria. <laughs>